Oh man. Ah, isn't that better? Man, I look good. Mm. Good morning, Loganite. So today I wanna to talk about the power of positivity because I feel like there's a lot of people out there that could really benefit from hearing about just being positive and how it can actually affect your day. If you make a concerted effort, it can change your day. Also, I decided that I wanted to talk about this like a day or two ago, and then also I found out today some really bad news in my personal life. Actually, a double bad news, a double whammy. So, it's times like these that it is really important to stay positive, and that's why I'm talking to you and really talking to me at the same time to kind of remind myself that this is why we stay positive. It's funny how the world works. I've been going through these theory classes in my doctorate program. Your perception of the world ends up being your world you live in, okay? It's the same reason you can take someone, two people that live in the same town, and ask them, how do you feel about your town? One might say, I really love it. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to raise a family. It's awesome. The other might say it's a terrible place to live. There's a bunch of crime and it's really bad. Same people, two different perspectives. Now, do you think that those two different people think it's just a perspective or do they really believe that that is the world that they live in? Nothing has changed about the world they live in, okay? The, the crime statistics haven't changed. The location hasn't changed. Their neighbors hasn't changed. They could literally live in the same cul-de-sac and they would be living in two completely different worlds. That's kind of a big deal. That's a huge deal, actually. So if you take that same kind of concept, okay, that you know that your other people's perspectives can change the world, right? Well, then your perspective can change your world as well. So if I believe that, I, that every single human out there is at their core good and that they try to do good that the miscon that when people feel like their feet have been stepped on there might just be a misconception like just because something bad happened doesn't mean there was malintent and that change of perception can change the world you live in now this can go all the way down through all the different parts of our lives like the other day i don't know if you like watch my shorts or whatever but I had an off day and I don't know what was off. I don't know what was off. Is it like, was I man menstruating? Was I, my hormones off? Did I get enough sleep? I don't know, it doesn't matter. I just know that like everything seemed bad. Just like, oh, there was like a grayness over the day. And I don't feel like I'm the only one out there that feels like that. So I had to sit down and I had to basically work my way mentally out of this hole and I'm glad I did it, but it, but it took, it took time as well. I was able to do it. I was able to sit down and say, Hey, this isn't how I should be feeling about this day. Cause this day's great. Why do I feel like this? This is a great day. I've got the day to do my school. I've got these things that I need to do. Let's knock this stuff. Let's nip it in the bud and let's be done with it. I was able to work my way through it, through my internal coping mechanisms. But I realized if I hadn't caught myself at the beginning of the day, that the rest of the day would have been complete and utter crap. Okay. And that can happen in all, all walks of life. It's like the same way, like when I used to work in the ER, some ER techs love their job. Some hated it, but what was the job any different? No, it was just a perspective. And that's something I feel like we neglect to talk about as a society. I mean, it's really easy to talk about like politics or what someone else did or something like that. But I feel like we don't ever talk about the things that can change our daily lives. Like we put ourselves in these categories. It's always us versus them, us versus them. Let's not be us versus them. It's like, it's like with these like politics. Politics is a great example. Democrats versus Republicans, Democrats versus Republicans. It's us versus them. If you get the two parties together, like if like if me and my best friend are Repub Democrat, Republican, Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. And we sit down, we talk about what we truly care about. You'll find the common ground. You will find the common ground. You will find that a lot of your core values still align. But that's not the way the world wants us to look at it. The world wants us to look at it as us first then because then there's power in that division. You divide and conquer. That's how you do things. But we don't want to give in to that. 
we have to stay positive. We have to realize that like, I'm a human, you're a human. We all want to live happy, healthy, successful lives. That's honestly, uh, I guess, oh shit. Did y'all hear that tree fall? It's kind of, it's kind of windy out here. That was scary. Uh, what was I talking about? We all, we all as humans want to live happy and healthy, successful lives. That's why I feel like as like a nurse or nurse practitioner, it's important to feel that way about our community, that every single person truly does want to better themselves, but they just need help getting there. There might be a lack of education. There might be a lack of motivation. Can you be that bridge to that person to help them get to the goals that they want? And that kind of rolls into something my dad told me one time. This is another concept out there. You in life don't get anything that you want without helping someone else get what they want, okay? So if I want to go to Jamaica for vacation, how do I accumulate the resources to get there? I, at the time, had to work at Chick-fil-A. At Chick-fil-A, I had to serve people chicken, cook people chicken, uh, make sure all the sauces were clean, make sure all the sides were ready to go, make sure it's hot, make sure it's fresh, make sure it's clean, make sure it's sanitary. You wanted that chicken. I wanted to go to Jamaica. So I had to give a bunch of people the chicken that they wanted to be able for me to go to Jamaica. I mean, I haven't been to Jamaica, but I've been on like a road trip or something. So in life, you have to help others get what they want to get what you want. Now you can take that all the way down the road to, uh, was it Maslow's, Maslow something, hierarchy of needs. So we as humans have needs. We have to have food, shelter, safety. And then from there it goes up and I can't remember the exact steps, but at the very top, it's like self-fulfillment, uh, gratif I can't remember, like giving back to the community. That's why like the B Melinda and Bill Gates Foundation exists because once you cover all of your basic necessities, the best thing that you can do is help other people. So you can actually re reverse engineer that and go the opposite direction and say, okay, well, if I know at the top of the hierarchy chain is helping other people and I've already got food and water and shelter, because I mean, we're living in a rich time. We really are. You know, I have a house that has air conditioning and heating and food and fresh water from a tap, which is like magic in the 1800s. I can poop in a ceramic bowl that magically flushes it away. We do live in great times and that's the kind of positivity that you need. I don't, where was I going with this? I don't even know. Oh, so you have all these things. You're not necessarily, you, there's a lot of things that you want because there's a lot of things out there, right? But you don't have any hardcore needs, food, shelter, water, okay? That's important. The next thing you can do is go help other people. Not necessarily in the hierarchy, but if you wanna to try to figure out some self-fulfillment and feel better about yourself and your surroundings, go help other people. Volunteer at a soup kitchen. I actually, I like volunteering with the Boy Scouts, but I also was a Boy Scout and an Eagle Scout and stuff, so. That's just how I like giving back. It's not necessarily fun in the moment. It is It is at some points, but you know, if you're gonna spend eight, 10 hours one day going and volunteering, it's not all gonna be roses and dandelions. There's gonna be some down points, but you recognize that. You realize that going into it, that you're helping others, but you're also helping yourself. And you're like, oh, that's a selfish way to look at it, but, it, but it's what it is, you know, people, you want to do things out of the kindness of your heart and you want to help other people, but if you're not at that point, just realize that you're also getting some internal satisfaction from those, from helping other people. And that's kind of like the end positive, positivity, right? So like you're positive, the world's gonna get better, that people want to be good and all these things are going great. Then you help other people yourself. I will say with these two big things that I've been notified of today that aren't great in my personal life. There's not really much you can do about them. It just sucks. And sometimes it sucks to suck. But I'll tell you like a firefighter told me one time, you have to embrace the suck because it's gonna suck no matter what. So you might as well embrace it and to make it a little bit better. So if I can give you anything, just try to stay positive, try to recognize when you yourself are going down that rabbit hole of negativity and try to stop yourself. It takes time, it takes attention, but that's what life is. Life's about the growth. It's not about being perfect. My name is not Jesus of Nazareth. It is about the growth and about learning to be better. No one is perfect. 
uh, we're all in this together. So embrace the suck, try to stay positive, and then try to reorient yourself to positivity once you recognize you're going down negativity. As a matter of fact, there are different things you can do. You can like practice gratitudes. So like some people for like a month will write down five things or call someone a day and tell them why they're grateful for them being in their life. And that's a great thing because that reorients your mind to being grateful for the things you have, not wanting of what others have. That's a key thing. That's a key thing. That's it, guys. I just wanted to like reach out and say, hey, I know sometimes life doesn't go the way you want. Sometimes you get, you take a few hits and you got to pull yourself back up and you're not the only one out there. I have been there this morning. It happened. It's something I have to deal with for a few months, if not the years to come. But it can be done and you got to stay positive. You got to stay with it. That also means you, Logan. Uh, remember, always keep your core on the cob. Logan out.